Welcome to AP Computer Science A 2021 Free Response Question 1. I encourage you to pause the video, follow the link in the video description, and attempt to solve part or all of this problem before continuing. This problem gives you the word match class, which represents a game that stores a secret string and allows the user to guess the string. There's a string field called secret, which will hold the secret word. There is a constructor that will take a string parameter and use it to initialize the secret instance variable. The first method, score guess, calculates a score for a given guess. The second method, find better guess, compares two guess strings and determines which one is better. To solve the problem, we need to implement the score guess and find better guess methods according to the instructions that follow. Part A gives us an expanded explanation of what the score guess method should do. First, score guess counts how many times the guess string appears in the secret string. The score is calculated by multiplying the number of occurrences of the guess by the square of the length of the guess. It gives two examples of creating instances of the word match class. Then it gives us corresponding tables showing sample calls and what is returned. Examples like these can be critical in understanding AP CSA free response questions. This is another good opportunity to pause the video and read through the problem. We scroll down to the next page and it gives us more information. First, it tells us that we are writing the score guess method. Second, the preconditions guarantee us that the guess will be greater than zero and less than or equal to the length of the secret word. This information makes it easier for us because now we don't have to account for those other values. Finally, it starts us off with the header of the method. Pay particular attention that the method accepts a string and returns an int. Let's look at the official solution. We have the header that was provided to us. Next, we have a count variable to keep track of the number of occurrences of the guess in the secret instance variable. The variable is initialized to zero. We use a for loop to iterate through all possible substrings of secret that have the same length as the guess. To make sure we don't go out of bounds of the secret string, we use the secret.length minus guess.length expression as the upper limit of the loop. We pull out each substring and check if it is equal to guess using the string equals method. If it is, we increment the count variable. After the loop, we have the total count of occurrences of guess in the secret string. We calculate and return the score, which is the product of count, the length of the guess, and the length of the guess again. In a problem like this, it is worth trying out the loop to make sure everything matches up. Let's use one of the examples from the instructions and say that secret equals Mississippi and guess equals ISS. The extra spacing between the letters is for visibility. Secret.length is 11 and guess.length is three. So we'll continue the loop as long as I is less than or equal to eight. In this case, the first valid value of I is zero and the last valid value is eight. So let's try out those two extremes and see if they work. We punch in zero for i, then we punch in three for guess.length. For this iteration, our substring starts at zero and includes indexes zero, one, and two. MIS gets compared to ISS, which in this case is false. Now let's try i is eight. We punch in eight for i, we punch in three for guess.length. So our substring starts at eight and includes indexes eight, nine, and 10. PPI gets compared to ISS, which in this case is false. By checking the extremes, we can see that this loop will correctly traverse the secret instance variable and compare each section to guess. Let's look at part B. Part B gives us an expanded explanation of what the score guess method should do. The method takes in two strings and returns the one with the higher score as calculated by the score guess method. If the two guesses have the same score, the one that is alphabetically greater is considered the better guess. The term alphabetically greater is confusing, but effectively, in the case of a tie score, 
we want the guess that comes second if they were arranged alphabetically. The last line of the table gives you an example of what they were looking for. It gives one example of creating an instance of the word match class. Then it gives us a corresponding table showing sample calls and returns from both score guess and find better guess. Even if you didn't do part A, for the purpose of part B, you can assume that the method in part A works. In this case, you are expected to use calls to score guess as part of the solution to part B. This is another good opportunity to pause the video and read through the problem. We scroll down to the next page and it gives us more information. First, it tells us that we are writing the find better guess method. Second, the preconditions guarantee us that guess one and guess two will contain all lowercase letters and that guess one will not be equal to guess two. Finally, it starts us off with the header of the method. Let's look at the official solution. The problem already started us off with the method header. We first compare the scores of the two guesses using the score guess method. If guess one has a higher score than guess two, it is a better guess and we return it. If guess two has a higher score than guess one, it is a better guess and we return it. If the scores of the two guesses are the same, we need to use the compare to method to break the tie by figuring out which one comes second alphabetically. The strings compare to method will calculate the difference between the numerical values of guess one and guess two. If guess one has a higher numerical value than guess two, it will return a number greater than zero. If guess two has a higher numerical value than guess one, it will return a number less than zero. If guess one and guess two are the same, it will return zero, but the preconditions guarantee us the strings won't be the same. Leave me your comments on this video and suggestions for future videos in the comments section. Click on the next video to keep learning or check out the full playlist.